we dial three at this time there were three of us we dial uh about 500 dials a week i can't rightly say it was 100 a day at average but on saturday whatever we were behind we would just go in and dial for the first few hours by the way, how do you dial that many? We mainly wanted to leave messages. That's why I didn't mind doing it on a Saturday and calling their work. I wasn't trying to reach anybody. The more I couldn't reach, the better. Because I could touch on a machine, on a voicemail or a text or an email the same way, even better. And when I would leave a guy 15 phone messages over eight months or 10 months or 12 months, and he said, you know, I'm ready now. And you left me a couple messages. Mm -hmm. That's the, the inbound lead. Yes. Yes. I was just... And, you know, we say big sale, small close. So it was really a marketing job where selling a car got in the way because we had very, very little negotiating. And a lot of uh, salespeople could say, well, that's because they were wealthy and, you know, baloney. These people are the most savvy negotiator negotiators in the world. And that's why they got where they are if they're self-made. Don't get me wrong. The, we would get the lottery winner or the athlete that just did a sign on bonus. And that could be an easy deal. But when you're doing 25 a month, one, how many lottery winners can you get? I don't think it's one a month. How many sign on bonus ball players are you getting? I don't think it's one a month. We certainly got them, but it wasn't the majority. So it was the entrepreneur. It was the attorney. It was the whatever that were very, very strong negotiators, but the rapport was so strong that we took it to what I called the conflict of interest in my sales process.